What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a fast-paced cardio workout. Today's routine can be performed with just your body weight only. But if you want to add a little resistance, feel free to grab a pair of light hand weights, water bottles, or even soup cans. Follow me for the standard moves. And follow me for some easier modifications. If you're ready to go, then let's do it. Let's begin with the warm up. First one for today is gonna to be a step back and reach. Start with your feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna step back with your right leg and reach to your left side up and across. Now come back, this time reaching to your right side and stepping back with your left leg. Alternating sides, right and then left. Not a race on this one. This one's gonna loosen up your hip flexors, quads, a little bit of your thoracic spine and shoulders multiple body parts getting loosened up and warmed up on this one. We're not gonna count any repetitions today. And the point of this move here and this warm up is just to increase your overall body temperature as well as warming up your muscles and joints. Making sure to breathe throughout, getting a nice big reach, looking up at that hand as you reach up and across. And depending on your fitness level, you may want a little bigger step back, or you might be good with a, a shorter one. You go ahead and decide what's right for you today. But we're gonna move on here in five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, moving into an upper body move next, specifically for your shoulders and back. Let's do an upright row. Start with your feet shoulders apart, shoulders are back. Bring those elbows up. Now we're gonna do a rotation. Flip those hands around and now reach up overhead. Bring the elbows back down now in reverse direction, hands down. So those elbows up, rotate over and reach. And back down, reverse it. A great one to warm up those shoulders, those rotator cuffs. Gain that extra mobility. Get them ready for this action that is on the way. It's gonna be a good one. It is. I plan Excited. on sweating up a storm. <laughs> Let's see if I can, I'll probably break a sweat in this warm up, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keeping those shoulders back, full range of motion, and breathe. Not much left on this one. Make sure you're getting a big reach up at the top for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, next one, we're going to loosen up your posterior chain, which is your lower back, hamstrings, and glutes. At the same time, getting your heart rate up a little bit. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width. Toes are pointed out. A little bend in those knees. We're going to do a posterior swing. Swing those hands between your legs, pushing your hips back, and then hands up overhead onto the balls of your feet. So it might take you a couple repetitions to get into the flow of this one. Keep that back straight as you come down. And as you come down, really driving those hips behind you and driving your glutes behind you like you're trying to touch uh, the wall behind you with your glutes. That's right, so definitely hinging and not turning this into a squat. Right, we're not coming down and squatting down with a major bend at the knees, but instead it's all in those hips. Hips back, hips forward, and then coming up onto the balls of the feet, loosening up those calves. We're gonna do a lot of dynamic moves today. Keeping this one up, making sure to breathe. And again, going at a nice warm up pace. Whatever that looks like for you. Faster than us, might be slower than us. It's gonna be up to you to make this work out your own throughout today's routine. Keep this one up here for just five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. 
Okay, warm up is complete. Let's do it. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. ready for this? Okay, if you are using hand weights, uh, light dumbbells, water bottles, two cams, whatever it may be, go ahead and or pick them up for all. the first one. Yep. Or if you just want to use your body weight, totally cool as well. We're going to do a side raise plus run in place. It's a 30 second uh, set and we're getting as many reps in as we can. Yep. Here we are. I'm in ready. Three, two, one, zero. It's showtime, everybody. Making sure to breathe, hot feet, getting as many steps in as you can. Keep those palms facing down. Bring your arms up and out so they're par about parallel to the ground. You got it. And again, throughout today's routine, it's gonna be up to you to make it your own by increasing the weight, lowering the weight, whatever that may be. Breathe and move. Here we go. Here we go, guys. In three, two, one and break. All right, right into the next one. We're yes. gonna do a dumbbell punch out. Feet shoulder width apart, weight back in your hips. Palms are facing one another, good posture. Pushing out and pulling back. So it's not just about the push, but also the pull back from the elbows. That's right, how fast can you go? That's it, getting as many as you can. Today's workout is gonna work both your upper and lower body, so it is a cardio workout, but we're getting the whole body involved today. That's it, feel that heart rate coming up. It's working, we can feel it. Come on, breathe. All right guys, here we go, we got five more seconds. That's it, pushing to the end. In three, two, one, zero. Okay, you can set the hand weights down for the next one. A little footwork move here next. I'm gonna go do a forward and back jump, light and on the balls of my feet. And I'm actually gonna do a one, two, three, four. She's stepping forward and stepping back. You decide if you wanna do the jump, or the step. Hot feet, hot feet. Everything you got. Like you're stepping over an invisible line. Either way, moving those feet as fast as you can. My version's a little bit higher impact than Claudia's. So choose accordingly for your needs. Either hot way. Hot feet, hot feet. That's, that's it. Say. Either way, getting as many quick, light ground contacts as you can. Come on, pushing that pace, pushing it. Keep a little bend in those knees. Go guys, we have five seconds. That's it, fighting to the end for three, two, one, zero. All right, we need, if you're using your hand weights, we need just one for the next one. We're gonna do a knee chop, feet are staggered, one uh, leg back, both arms up on that one dumbbell. We're gonna pull in and chop, contracting those abs and crunching as you bring that knee up and in. Fast pace, get it going. Again, breathe, step that leg back every time. Extend those arms up overhead on every rep. It's like you're, you have a big watermelon in your hands and trying to break it over your knee. Breathe, crunch those abs, get them engaged. Another total body move here. Lower body, upper body, abs all getting hit. Here you go guys, you got five more seconds on this side and then we're switching. Switching in two, one, zero. Same move. Just switch which leg is in front. Getting right into it. Try to eliminate that downtime. Keeping the pace up right here. As this workout progresses and it gets tougher, it's gonna be just that much more important for you to focus on what it is that brought you here today. Whatever your goals are, whatever it is that motivates you, focus on it and keep it at the front of your mind. Guys, here we go. In three, two, one, and zero. Excellent. All right, you can set your dumbbell or hand weight to the side if you're using it. We don't need it. We're going to do a lateral one, two, three. So we're going to take three steps laterally. One, two, three, and then to the opposite side. One, two, three. Get into it a little faster as you get more comfortable. And I'm actually just going to be doing the steps. So I'm not going to be doing the high knee like Coach Kozak, simply moving my feet one, two, three from side to side. You decide which one is more appropriate for you and Maybe you start with the harder one and eventually need to move on to the easier one. Either way, just making it your own. As you get comfortable with the move, pick up the pace a little bit. That's it, making sure to breathe. Don't hold that breath. You know, nice little rhythm here. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's right, here we go. Opposite arm and legs working together. Guys, you have five more seconds on this one. Make it count, let's go. Two, one, and Zero. All right, if you're using hand weights, picking them back up. 
Next one's an upper body move. Feet shoulder width apart. Bend over 45 degree angle. We're gonna do a bend over row. Pull back on those elbows. Back down. Now fly. Pulling back and apart. Row. Fly. Row. And that's the movement, fly. guys. Getting that's right it. into it. Making sure to breathe, alternating between the two. On that row, you're just pulling straight back on the elbows and on the fly, keeping a slight bend in those elbows as you pull apart and squeeze the middle of your back. Keep making sure to not hold your breath, but keep breathing throughout. Keep it moving, let's go. How many can you get? Pushing yourself right here. Five more seconds. Pushing yourself because nobody else can or will do it for you. Two, one, and zero. All right, we're moving into a full jump rope plus run in place. So we're moving our hands just as if we have a jump rope. And then we're running in place with the hot feet. Again, you decide if you want to use hand weights for this one or just your own body weight. And also decide at what pace you can keep up on that. That's right. <laughs> run in place. Either way, pushing yourself right here. Defeating the you who couldn't do it yesterday. Not competing with us, competing with yourself. It's getting a little bit better every day. Right here, come on. Grind it out, Hasfit Tribe. What do you got? Let's go. Move, move, move. Don't hold your breath or whatever you do. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, hand weights to the side. We're moving to the floor for a classic killer move. We're moving into a traditional mountain climber, starting in a high plank position, bringing those knees up. And I'm actually gonna do the mountain climber, but I'm gonna be doing the toe tap, and then right back down. So you decide which pace is appropriate for you. Keep your core tight, slight bend in your elbows. This one's working your shoulders, triceps, abs, and legs. Everything. Everything. All getting hit at the same time. And chest. Come on. Keep it up right here. What'd you come here for? Remind yourself, what are you working towards? What is it? What's it gonna take to achieve it? Come on, stay focused on it. Right here, right here. here. Go. In five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, Woo. we're back on the feet. Keep it going, Hasfit Tribe. Grabbing our hand weights if you're using them. Feet are shoulder width apart. Moving into a front squat plus push your weight back in your hips, full squat. And then as you stand up, Drive those dumbbells, hand weights, water bottle, soup cans, or just your hands straight up overhead. Every time we perform that squat, we're sitting back, putting our weight in our hips, keeping our feet flat on the ground. And then you're using that energy from your legs to blast those weights or your hands straight up overhead. Keeping your knees out, head up, chest up, and core nice and tight. And breathe, breathe in on the way down and exhale on the way up. Come on, big power. Right here, right here. What do you got? Make it count, Hasfit Tribe. Where are you at? Let's go. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Nice work. Excellent. All right, holding on to your hand weights for the next one. Moving into a bent over punch out. Bent over, 45 degree angle, and we're punching straight down. Making sure to rotate those hands, bring them all the way back up to your chest, and breathe. Core stays tight. Again, this is more of an upper body cardio move, but your legs are gonna be engaged just to hold you in this position. That's it, come on, big power right here. Let all that stress out right here. Whatever's weighing you down, get it out. Let's go, come on. Let's go, Hasfit Tribe. What do you got? Finish this one strong. Here we go, guys. In three, two, one, zero. Nice, okay, I'm gonna do a faux jump rope on one foot. And I'm gonna do the faux jump rope on both feet. You decide which one's right for you. I'm gonna switch halfway through. Either way, we're staying light on the balls of our feet, keeping a slight bend in that knee, trying our best to avoid heel contact. Yep. Very important, keep that ball of the foot all on that calf. You're a bouncy ball, not a rock. That's it, and switch if you're doing the one leg. Keep it up, keep it up. Come on, hot feet. How many little light touches can you get right here? That's it, come on. Breathe. Not much left, guys. And move. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we have a 
Olympic weightlifting inspired move next, one arm dumbbell snatch. Feet are shoulder width apart, bend over using your hips as a hinge and then bring that dumbbell or that elbow straight up as you swing that dumbbell up overhead. So pull up on that elbow and then flip that dumbbell up overhead. Pulling with your back, using those legs and we're just moving. Again, it's about getting as many in as you can. It's not about using a lot of weight on this. It's about speed, speed and consistency. How many can you get? That's it, come back, repeat this routine, and try to get just a few more than you did the first time. Not much longer, guys, let's go. Come on, grind it out, grind it out. And five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Just one hand weight if you're using it for the next one. Moving on to a switch jump plus twist. Feet are staggered stance. This hand weight is on the side of that front lead leg and I'm gonna switch and jump. And I'm doing the step back. So I'm just stepping back with the opposite leg and twisting into that stationary leg. The moves are basically the same, but mine is a little more dynamic where Claudia is a little more lower impact. That's right. And you decide what's right for you at this point in time in the workout depending on what you got left. Come Good on. Good stretch in those obliques. That's it. Working your legs, your balance, agility, athleticism, your core, all working right here, right now. Let's you go. Don't have much longer, guys. Get after it. Keep that pace up. Don't slow down. Let's go. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, I'm gonna pick up my second hand weight for this next one. I'm actually gonna just use my body weight here. We're doing an arm crossover, and at the same time, I'm gonna do a leg crossover. And I'm actually doing the modified version of that one. So just using one leg, crossing my arms over one another. And then side to side with a butt kick. That's right. So you decide if you wanna do the more dynamic version, I'm crossing over opposite arm and leg, alternating which arm is on top and which foot is in front. Come on, let's go. Go Hesfit Tribe. Where you at, where you at? Right there working with you. All right guys, you have five more seconds. Here we go, finishing three, strong. Three, two, one, zero. Whew, all right. Hand weights are back up if you're using them. Both arms straight up overhead. I'm gonna do an overhead high knee. And I'm actually gonna do an overhead march. So you decide what's right for you, but get those arms up. That's right. And get those legs moving right get here. Get those knees up. If you're doing the march, do the best you can. They're both tough, neither one is easy, but just keep moving. Remind yourself what brought you here today to begin with. That's right, guys. What is it? What are you working on? Let's get after it right here. Keep Come your on. core nice and tight, remembering to breathe through the movement. Almost there, almost there. That's right, guys. And five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Nice. Okay, so now's your time to take a big deep breath, grab a drink of water, a towel, whatever it is that you need. Give yourself a pep talk. That's it, maybe a pep talk. So it's a 20 second break in total. We're starting right back from the beginning into that side raise, run in place. Getting moving here in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Run in place, bring those hands out, arms out to parallel to the ground. Are you familiar with the movements? We want to see you give it your all in the second round, guys. That's it. Less than decision. So that means these transitions are going to go faster and we can pick up the pace a little bit. Right here. What do you got? Putting it all out there. Every set, every rep, every repetition, getting you just that much closer to your goals. Yes. Come on. All right. Here we go. In three, two, one, and zero. Whew, all right. Let's keep those shoulder burn going. Feet are shoulder width apart. Dumbbell punch out punch out and pull back. Get those arms out parallel to the ground. Palms are facing in. Straight punch out and then pull back from the elbow. So it's not just all about the punch. Equally as important to pull back those dumbbells, hand weights, water bottles. Yes. Keep whatever that it is you're using. Nice and engaged throughout the entire movement. That's it. Keep it contracted. Come on. Let's go. Burn so good. That's right. We're right there with you. Let's go. Not much longer, guys. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ah, all right. Hand weights are down. 
A little agility move next. I'm going forward and back. And I'm doing one, two, three, four. So just pretend like you have a line in front of you and you're either jumping over and back or stepping over and back. Pick whichever one's appropriate for you. But keep it moving. Yes. We're at Hasford Tribe. We're right there working with you, step by step, feeling that same burn you're feeling. Just stay strong, let's go. Come on, you're a fighter, not a quitter. A little bend in those knees, soft, light touches. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Here we go guys, in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, one hand weight needed for the next one. If you're using it, we're going into a knee chop. Feet are staggered, staggered. Both arms are up. We're gonna pull that knee in, crunch down. Let's go. Get right after it. Come on, how many can you get? 30 seconds each side, and then we're gonna switch it up. So that killer total body move. We're getting those shoulders, those arms, chest, abs, legs all getting hit. Don't give up. Just keep moving. Keep fighting right here. Let's go, Hasfit Tribe. Grind it out right here. I want you to exceed your own expectations. All right, guys, switching in five, four, three, two, one, switch. Ooh, I'm sweating up a storm. Let's go. Let's go. No downtime. Right Let's it. go. Opposite side. You know the drill. Moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with, whatever that looks like. Just keep moving. If you need to drop your weight, that's all right. Just don't hit that pause button. Keep pushing. That's right. Keep driving. Almost there, almost there. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ah, all right. Hand weight down. We're going into that lateral one, two, three. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, side to side. I'm getting my knees up. Body's keeping the knees a little bit lower. That's right, but I'm still moving. That's it. Come on, getting those arms working together. Opposite arm and leg works at the same time. One leg's coming up, that same side arm is going back. Come on, get that rhythm going. What do you got? Breathe. Come on, fight Not much through more, it. guys. In five. Four, three, two, one, and zero. Nice. All right, pick up your hand weights for the next one if you're using it. Moving into the bent over row, plus fly, double back move here, bent over 45 degree angle, pull back on those elbows, back down, and pull apart into that reverse fly. Alternating between the two moves, and we're off. Again, getting as many repetitions in as you can, making sure to breathe. Again, not about maxing out the weight on this one. It's all about speed. How many can you get right here? Back and forth between the two. Keep that back straight, core stays tight. Not and much longer, guys. Making sure to breathe. Don't hold that breath. Let's go, come on. Fight it out, fight it out. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, keeping my dumbbells for this one, I'm going Faux jump rope plus run in place. Little circles with those hands and wrists, just like we're jump roping. A nice little rhythm involved on this one. Running in place, hot feet. How many can? How many steps can you get? Go at your own pace, guys, but challenge yourself. That's it. Come on. This is the last round. Come on, let's go right here, right here. Remember, those who think they can and those who think they can't are both right. Which That's one right. are you? Right here. Finishing strong, gotta convince yourself. It's all about that mental toughness. Right here, working on it, getting a little stronger. Here we go, in five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, hand weights are down if you're using them. Moving to the floor. Down to the mountain climbers. Mountain climber time. Right into it, high plank position. You know the drill. Try to eliminate that downtime and just keep moving. Come on, hot feet, hot feet. Core stays tight, back stays straight, and don't stop, let's go. That's right, keep on moving. Don't stop when it hurts, we're gonna stop when we're done. Come on, finish strong, everybody. Keep going, keep going. Come Almost on. there, fight to the finish. That's it. In three, two, one, and zero. Ha, up on our feet, we are gonna need those hand weights. 
for the next one. Moving into that front squat, plus push your feet or shoulders apart. Sit back, weight in your hips. Drive those dumbbells straight up overhead. Weight goes back in your hips on that squat. Want to make sure you're keeping those feet flat. Drive off your heels. You don't want to come forward onto your toes. Making sure to sit back every time. Anytime you squat, you're gonna bend at those hips first, then the knees. Come on, big power right here. Not much longer, guys. We're burning too. We're right there with you. In five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, holding on to those weights. Whew. We got a bent over punch out. Punch it out. 45 degree angle bent over, back stay straight. Punching full range of motion all the way down and then pull those hands back. Come on, big power right here. Speed and power, let's go. It's a good one to let out all that stress. Whatever it is, it's weighing down, weighing you down, weighing on your mind. Let it all go. That's it, come on. Work it out right here. Let's go, let's go, what you got? Come on, breathe, don't hold your breath. Come on, you got let's five go. more seconds. Where are you at, Hasfit Tribe, where are you at? In three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, we're holding on to your hand weights for the next one. I'm doing that full jump rope, either one foot my version or both feet at the same time. Either way, nice light touches. I would say if, you know, these plyometric jumping exercises, if you have neighbors underneath you, you don't want them to hear you. Nope. Nice, light, soft touches. Keeping a bend in those knees. That's it. If you're doing the one leg, switch and keep it moving. That's it. Come on. How many touches can you get? Keep Almost it going. there, guys. Come on, burn them out. Right there with you. Come on. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're moving on to a one-arm dumbbell snatch. Big power, alternating arms. Weight goes back in the hips into a hang and then pull up on that elbow and flip it up. That's it, come on. How many can you get right here? Let's go. Time of the workout where it starts getting tough. It's all about that mental toughness. It's not even about your body anymore. It's not about that burn. It's about your willingness to keep moving forward no matter how bad you want to stop. Let's go right here. In five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, holding on to just one hand. Wait for the next one. I'm doing those switch jumps and twists. And I'm doing the step back and twist. You decide which one's right for you. Whew. Keeping good balance. Twisting into that stationary leg if you're doing my version. Getting that core engaged. That's it, come on. Side to side. Making sure to breathe. Whatever you do, not holding your breath. Keep moving, keep fighting. Keep fighting. Everything you got right here. Come on, if you gotta switch to an easier version. 10 seconds. Feel free to do so, but just don't stop. Don't no. hit that pause button. Finish it strong, here right here. Here we go in three, two, one, break. I'm picking up that second hand weight where Claudia's just doing her body weight for an arm crossover and jump. That's right, couldn't remember if I had weights or not. <laughs> up to you, mix Thanks, it up. Coach. Make it work for you. Come on, let's go Ooh right here. This is a tough Feel one. Feel it burning. We're gonna finish it strong. And finish it together. That's it. Thousands, maybe millions of us at home feeling that same burn. That's right guys, You're the feeling. pace. In it together. Come on, don't stop. What do you got right here? Everything you got. Five more seconds guys, here we go. In three, two, one, zero. Ooh, let's finish strong. That's Pop right. Pop those arms straight up overhead. And I'm going into that overhead high knee. And I'm doing the march. They're overhead both, march. They're both going to burn. Just don't give up. Let's go right here. Almost there, guys. Remind yourself what you came here for to begin with. What is it? What's it going to take to accomplish that goal? Every day waking up, doing at least one thing to get you closer to it. All right, guys. Five more seconds. Here we go. In five, four, Three, two, one, and zero. Ooh. Nice. That workout kicked my butt. Excellent work, coach. I think it's safe to say I uh, 
could use a new shirt. It was a good one. <laughs> All right, we're moving into the cool down and the purpose of this cool down is to allow your heart rate to come down slowly and at the same time gain some extra mobility. First move is gonna be a rotator cuff stretch. Good posture, shoulders are back. Let's take one hand and put it just behind your back. And I'm actually gonna modify that a bit and put my hand right here on my hip. Now, a little harder version is to grab your elbow. A little easier version is up here in your arm. You decide what's right for you. We're gonna gently pull forward on that elbow or that arm. Not a lot of range of motion on this one. And we're just gonna hold. It's a static stretch. And any of these static stretches, we're taking them to about 85, 90% of what you're capable of. We wanna feel a good stretch, but we don't want pain. We're gonna switch sides in three, two, one, zero. Opposite side now. Again, great one for those rotator cuffs. Loosen up those shoulders. A lot of work in today on them. Again, gently pulling forward. You decide if it's better for your hand behind your back or on your hip, slightly easier and we're just gonna hold it. Let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're gonna work our way on over to the wall, but you could also use like a couch or a table for this one. We're gonna do a toe on the wall stretch. So I want you to take your foot and your balls of your feet. We're gonna place them up on the wall. Now we're gonna bring your knee closer to the wall as we stretch those toes back and you also feel a stretch in the bottom of your foot. This one's stretching your plantar fascia as well as your calves, improving that overall calf and ankle mobility. I tell you, it feels great after all of those uh, faux jump ropes and one, two, three, fours, all those plyo moves for sure. And that's exactly why we're doing it. They're very effective moves, but they can take a lot out of you, so it's important that we also focus on that recovery. And we're gonna switch sides in three, two, one. All right, go ahead and put that opposite side, foot and balls of the feet up on the wall. And we're slowly bringing that knee closer to the wall to feel that stretch in your calf, ankle, and the bottom of your foot. And depending on which one of those three is the tightest is probably where you're gonna feel it the most, but it is working in all three areas. And again, it's just a hold. A little static stretch, loosening up that ankle joint for three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna move to the floor for the last one. We're gonna work on that spine with a little yoga inspired move. Let's go ahead and slowly come on down to the floor and we're gonna get into a cobra position. So in a prone position, both uh, feet flat on the ground, palms are facing are, are down and your fingers are facing forward. We're gonna stretch up, look up, and get into that cobra position, bringing that chin up and breathe. Feeling that stretch in your whole anterior abs, hip flexors, quads. And now let's transition back, bring those hips back, and we're gonna sit down into a child's pose. This time working the back, shoulders, quadriceps, all getting stretched on this one. And just come down as far as you can. It may be further than us, it may not be as far as us, just make it your own. Loosen up those shoulders, get those shoulders to stretch as well, bring that head down. And then let's come back forward, transition into that cobra. Head up, squeeze in those glutes. Feel that stretch in your hip flexors and your quadriceps, your abs. Chin is up. Nice, big, deep breaths here. And let's transition back into that child's pose. Nice controlled pace here, controlled breathing. And this is a great time to just take a second to be proud of what you've achieved so far today. If working out were easy, everybody be fit, everybody be in great shape, but they're not, which is what makes you so special for showing up today and getting a little bit better. One last time, forward into that Cobra. Again, nice, big, relaxing, deep breaths. No matter what the rest of the day brings, you can be proud of yourself that you check this one off your list. Workout is complete. And last one, sitting back into that child's pose. Just a few big deep breaths. And five, four, three, two, one, 
zero. And that's it, folks. Slowly come up. We don't want you to pass out on us. Or just stay down on the ground. Or just stay down. We have to stand, but, you know, <laughs> feel free to hang out down there. Thank you so much for working out with us today and pushing it right to the very end. If you enjoy today's routine, you've been working out with us for a while and hanging out with my sweaty behind, then we encourage you to please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this workout with us today, we ask that you give it a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss another brand new workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out HasFit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts just like this one, including our free complete fitness programs and meal plans. And if you are on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, come find Hasfit and connect with us because we want to connect with you. Thank you so much for giving us the privilege and honor of working out with you today. I, I'm going to go hit the showers. Yes. Until next time, I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.